Hi there fellow adventure seekers, it's Michael and this is a kind of a unique um, product review how-to video because I got my better half here. <laughs> I actually have my better half and my better uh, man's best friend who's laying down here on the grass. Talon's enjoying the cool grass and air here in South Dakota as we're filming this. In June. In June. Almost July. Uh, next week. Almost July. So what product we're going to talk about today? Well, kind of gave it away in the title and on the thumbnail. So you should already know, we're going to talk about You make me understand this place in a whole different way. You make me want to live this life to the fullest, to the fullest. A solo stove. This is... I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even opened the box yet, so this is going to be an unboxing. This is the Ranger, so this is the smaller one. They come in many different sizes and not just, this is just a fire pit, but they also come out with grills and a lot of other, other products. There's a link in the description below where you can get more info on all the product lines. So we're going to unbox this today. This is the recommended size for RVers. Yep, and this one also comes with a stand. And before we get any farther with this, I do want to disclose that Solo Stove did provide this to us for free for our honest and unbiased review. And so we're going to open it up, we're going to put it together, and we're going to throw some wood in there and a little lot of fire. I have lot. high hopes. Yeah. I have high hopes. Now the big drawing card or plus for the Solo Stove is the fact that it's smokeless or mostly smokeless. It's very efficient in the combustion of the firewood so there's less smoke and you get a more thorough burn. Which is good for me because I have allergies and the smoke can really affect me but I love a wood burning fire so I'm gonna hopefully get the best of both worlds in this. It's time to open the box. So what's in the box, Vanna? <laughs> it's the fire pit and stand. So let's see what we have here. Good moments and lasting memories. And styrofoam. And styrofoam. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I might need help. I'm just so excited. Maybe not. Maybe I can get it. I don't know. Maybe not. You know who else is really excited about this? <laughs> That's who's excited. This is a talent approved activity, folks. I uh. did it! All right. Now I have to be careful because there's a puddle of water right here. A very convenient bag. You draw a string up and has handles. And, well, even got the logo on it. Hey, we got the <coughs> sticker. Cool. Yep, and we got Firestarter Rewards. So scan the QR code to earn 100 points towards free gear. Yep. Now, if you use um, our link to purchase this, we get a small commission, and that money will go to a, directly to a small local veteran charity. It might even be one near you. Whee. And we have instructions how to use. So actually, they're both the same thing. This is for the stand, how to use the stand, and this is for how to use the fire pit. So here's how you use the stand. Okay, step one. We're gonna use the stand to provide extra protection to heat sensitive surfaces, such as wood decks. Before lighting your fire pit, place the stand on a level surface and center your fire pit on top of the stand and light your fire and enjoy. This is the stand right here. So we're not gonna light it on this picnic table though, because this is plastic. Somebody's already lit something on here, it wasn't us. This is just for demonstration purposes of, you put it underneath, right, and center it Yep. on there. And there you go. And just make sure it's good and level. And of course, if you didn't catch that, the stand actually fits right inside here. So the only other piece is the nested flame ring. So the first thing you need to do before you put the the fire ring on is you need to fill this up with your tinder kindling and small pieces of wood in the center of the fire pit. Then you light it 
and then you put the flame ring on top with the angled edges pointing up. So once you get the fire ring on top, as your ember bed gets hotter, you, that's when you start adding one to three pieces of wood, and as those catch, you add enough wood to fill the chamber. Then when you're ready to call it a night, you just let the fire burn out on its own. That fire is completely cooled, you turn it over to empty the ash. You just don't dump it on the ground. You dump it, make sure the ash is completely out, wet it, you have to, and then throw it away properly. So let's go ahead and move over here to stage two, or set two, whatever I you want to call it. I have heard that these don't have as much ash as you would have. Right, there. because so, they burn right. so efficiently. Right, so hopefully we'll check this in the morning when it's cooled, and we'll see. And it's also important to keep rain and snow out of this because it doesn't burn when it's wet. Who Good knew? Tip. But I Good just read tip. that. All right, let's head over here and light this fire. That's how it's in the beginning. Yeah. Depending on what kind of fire starter you're using, which we're using cardboard, which is going to smoke. It is going. So we got her going. I'm going to put that on top. And okay, as you can see, we got the fire going. This is just the kindling and the cardboard. And as soon as that gets going a little bit better, we'll start adding the wood. But it actually flamed up really fast after we put the ring on. This is a great shot, mainly because I'm not in it, but you can see there is no smoke. There was a tiny bit of smoke a minute ago, and it's just burning. It's great. Crackles like a real fire. Well, because it is a real fire. You know what's awesome is it's <laughs> just like the gas. Yeah, but the, the gas, like, we don't go in smelling like smoke. Mm -hmm. You know, we could enjoy the fire without. I love fires, but that's yeah. the whole, yeah, like, a quartzite like smoke. Yeah. Everywhere. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah, everything is. Yeah. I'm really loving this thing. Yeah. So, as you can tell by the wardrobe change, <laughs> it's the day after. Now, why is Shelly laughing? My chair is bigger than hers. <laughs> I saw him like way down here. Hello. She's in the kids' chair. Yeah. We burned what? Two pieces of wood last night? No, three. Three? No smoke. Easily could have done more. Yeah, and that was over the course of over two hours. Mm -hmm. They weren't really big pieces either. No. And they And they lasted well. And you want to see what was left behind from all that wood and the fire starter and everything else? I know you do. Let's check it out. That's it. There's hardly anything left. So what do you think? What do you think? I, I totally love it. And I think it's easy to maintain and take care of. And it all fits together and it's compact so you can store it. I, I love it. Yep. Talon, what do you think? Talon is just so excited. She can't even control her excitement. She loves the solo stove. I do too. Yep. I'm glad we got it. We're gonna get a lot of use out of this. And I'm looking forward to using it, especially when it starts getting a little chilly. But I can wait for it to get a little chillier. It's Even though it's chilly right I now. I was gonna say, <laughs> it's cool tonight. Again, another evening that it's... it's another, another cool June in yep. South Dakota. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and start another fire. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so you'll know whenever we post new content. And if you'd like to help us help small local veteran charities, one awesome way you can do that is by using the link below to purchase the solo stove that you need. And I mean you need, because you really do need this. <laughs> And 100% of the commission we do make off of that will go directly to a small local veteran's charities. Other ways you can help, become a YouTube or Patreon member, or buy some of our merchandise. And links to all those programs are in the description below. And if you do any of those things, you will definitely be a talent-approved adventure seeker. Thanks so much for watching.
and make your next journey an epic adventure. Bye. Yeah.